Whoa, hey, a gold my skull. <laughs> oh my god. This is a perfect one. Come here and look at this. Hey guys, welcome back to another DMC video. Today, we're going to be talking about where you can find GPUs, gold skulls, and gold bars 100%. And I'm going to show some ways that you can get these items not 100%, but very, very common and very, very easy so you can unlock your third weapon slot. So if this video helps you out and you unlock your third slot because of it, you find gold skulls, gold bars, and GPUs, go ahead and hit that sub button, like the video. Let's see how many likes we can get on this one. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, 250 likes on it and see if we can accomplish this goal. The first thing that we are going to talk about is how you can get GPUs 100% of the time. There is a whole key loot chain that you can get and it includes a whole bunch of random keys that drop from HVTs. So if you get any of these keys that you're going to see on your screen here with this map, if you get any of those, then you can get guaranteed GPUs out of Vondel. And right here you'll see I have a couple of the different keys. So I've got the barista bag key, the locker room key, windmill bag key, Mare's briefcase key, and then the stage bag key is the one that you want to be able to open the two stage bags that's in Vondel that have GPUs 100% of the time. Okay, I'm going to start with the Mare's briefcase key because for me that's going to be the easiest place to start, but you can start anywhere in that chain of keys that you saw. You just have to keep in mind like the locker key, this one right here, the locker room key, you're going to need the stadium key to be able to get to that. So there are going to be other keys that you need to be able to get to some of these areas. So we're going to start with the mayor's briefcase key. This way we can get some gold bars and get GPUs and be able to extract. All right, so here's the location of the mayor's briefcase key. It'll be right by City Hall. And here's a gold bar that you get from there. And the windmill bag key. All right, so here we are at the windmill. And there's a couple different zip lines you can take up. So there's one in the interior. And you're just going to take it up. And right here around the corner is the windmill bag key. And in there, you're going to find another gold bar. And the barista bag key. This is the location of the barista bag key. And in here, you will find, guaranteed, a stage bag key. And you're going to need that for the two GPUs. Okay, so here, just above University, is where you're going to find the first stage bag key. And in it, you'll see there's a GPU. So right now we have two gold bars, and we're going to get our second GPU, and then extract. Here we have the second stage. And a GPU will be in here also. There you go. Now we can extract. We'll have two gold bars, two GPUs, 100% from this run. Okay, so there's two bike parking facilities. So if you have this key, the bike parking key, you can come and look in both of those. You might be able to find a gold bar like I just did. This is not a 100% chance that you're going to find these items in here. So, if you have the key, you can go ahead and check and just see if maybe there is one of these items here. I've heard of people getting gold bars and gold skulls out of here. And there's a key there. So, I got one gold bar out of it. So, if you have the key, it's worth at least checking out if you're looking for those gold bars. So, you may be wondering, how exactly do I get keys to be able to do this? Well, if you look on the map, you'll see this Eliminate HVT. Grab that. And that's going to show you the location of one of the HVTs. When you kill him and complete this contract, he will drop key. Alright, let's see here. Where's the key? Restaurant briefcase key. Not a key that we can use, but... The windmill bag key is really common from these HVTs. Okay, so 100% the easiest way to get a gold skull is to take out one of these bosses. And 
Bomb drone is the easiest way to do it. Look at that. He didn't even stand a chance. So yeah, as you saw, guaranteed way to get a gold skull. So if you need gold skulls, you might want to drive around and try and find the juggernaut. Use a bomb drone, you'll take them out in one shot. You don't even have to worry about getting taken out or getting shot at or anything. This works on the juggernaut, pyro, uh, it works on in Koshai, the sniper and rhinoceros. It works on the chemist. It works on pretty much all of the bosses. You can one shot them with a bomb drone. So if you have a bomb drone and need gold skulls, then that would be the way to do it. That is 100% the way that you're going to get gold skulls. Now, another way that you can get gold, bar gold bars and gold skulls is by coming into these banks. And there is six of them on the map. You can also end up getting a GPU out of here, although it's kind of rare to get a GPU. You're more likely to find a gold skull or gold bars in here over a GPU. But there are a number of computers that you can check to be able to see. Like, here we go, we have an encrypted hard drive. That's another common thing. Oh, see? Another encrypted hard drive. And there's two floors. The banks are all the same. And once I get done with this one, I'll show you the location of the six different banks. And I'll go to a couple more just so that you can see... Um kind of what you get out of them. You get a lot of cash. That's uh, one thing. And then there's a bunch of rare items usually in them. Alright, so on the map, you have one up here in Almazra. You have another here in Almazra. So there's two really close, and that's actually going to be the next one I go to. Down here, by the airport, you have one right there. You have one in Seraph Bay that nobody ever goes to because it's surrounded by bots and all these buildings and everything, but there's one right there in Seraph Bay. You have another one down here in Sawa. Everybody runs through this building to jump over to the crypto room, but usually they don't loot it. They just jump over to the crypto room and then that's it. And then you have one here in Said City. So you have six banks that you can go to. And if you hit all of the banks in a run, you're gonna get a gold bar, or a gold skull, or a GPU. You're, you're just going to. You might only get one, or you might get like five gold skulls like I did the one game. It just depends on what the drop rate is. Now, like I said, this isn't a 100% method, but this is easier than trying to go around and kill bosses for gold skulls. You just hit up a couple banks, check them. If you don't get it, then proceed with what you're doing, your missions, or whatever. There's another encrypted hard drive. Two self revives. Get those objectives into a dead drop to make faction mission progress. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements coming. There we go, see? Gold bar. This is the second bank that I've checked, and I already got one gold bar. Alright, now we're down here, the bank north of airport, and there's a gold bar. Uh, let's just drop one of those keys. There's a gold bar already in this place. Uh, another encrypted hard drive, jeez. Let's see what else we got. Oh, jeez, another. Like, I can't even hold all of these items.
There it is. Gold skull. Man. If I find another gold skull, I'm gonna lose it. I just- I won't have room. Quick side note, if you find these safes while you're wandering around in the banks and stuff like that, you might want to drill them, because you can get gold bars out of them. So we're gonna drill this one, see what we get out of it. Alright, what do we have in here? Ah, uh, classified documents. No gold bar this time, but, as I said, there is a chance that you can get it from the safes. So definitely check those out if you need gold bars. These are the methods that I used to find the gold bars, gold skulls, and GPUs when I needed to unlock my third slot. So I know that this is a very effective way that you can do this, and you can do this solo, you can do this easy, and I know that there's other methods out there. Uh, for instance, on a Sheikah, you can go through all of those strongholds that are in the south. You'll get gold bars out of them, you have a chance of getting gold skulls out of them also. But a Sheikah is very rough for solo players, so that's why I didn't include it in here. There's also a box that you can get if you have the key, and it's for the shipwreck. There's a guaranteed gold skull there, but again, a Sheikah is very, very tough to be able to get in, play, and everything like that because players are hunting. So these are the easy methods to be able to do this. I would just hit all of the banks, get your gold bars, get your gold skulls that you need. Then, if you don't find any GPUs, then go to Vondel and do those runs, and you'll be able to unlock your third slot very easy. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that sub button, hit a like on this video. We're going for 250 likes on the video. And comment down below, I will respond to you. I try to respond to everybody. I will see you guys in the next video.